Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a Cole Banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, I'm back out at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks, but this time I'm at the Grove section. I'm in the final stage that's ever going to be built at the Grove, and I have out-of-state clients looking to buy a house out here and get it built by Perry Homes on one of these lots that they haven't built on yet. So we're going to do three lot tours today. We're going to do lot 57, 58, and I'll look at my notes for the third one. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's check out these lots. All right, this first one, like I said, is going to be lot 57. Address is going to be 1187 Catnip. Like I said, this is in the final stage of the Grove, so none of these houses have been built yet. But man, these lots are going fast. Um, it, it's just a frenzy here, and I definitely think we're going to run out of lots here pretty quick. It's late in the afternoon, so yeah, we got the sun starting to set back there. So this does kind of give you a good showing. I'm facing the lot now, so the sun's going to be kind of on the side of the house. It depends on what time of year it is, but you're not going to have the sun beating through your back window. All right, let's go take a walk on lot 57, also known as 1187 Catnip. All these lots are going to be relatively flat. We are going to be, it's going to be a green space lot. The lots on this side will be facing 46, so you can hear that a little bit in the video. And, but these lots are going to already, it's not going to be as loud because you're going to have some houses in the future breaking up that sound. All right. Now these house, these lots do have a 20 foot setback. So, uh, we are kind of right about a little bit past that. So yeah, the build space would be kind of right in here. And that would means I don't I have to look to see the property lines to see where this oak tree might lie. It might be close to being on the side of the house. Yeah, you see the property line right there? This oak tree might survive where the property is. Depends on how wide the house is, but it might be close. They're gonna want a good 10 feet on the side of the house to build it. So I can't tell you yes or no whether or not that tree will survive, but it'll be close. Anyways, let's go look at the back of this property. See if we can find some more oak trees back here. So far, no other oak trees. I got some cedar. Try to find a better route around. Hmm. Sorry, it's not too exciting. I'm just watching my steps so I don't Roll an ankle on some rocks, because I really want to get back here. Okay. Now I'm probably close to the back part of the property line. Yep, there's the post. So no real cedars, I mean no real oaks on this property that I can see. However, this is going to be a big green space behind the property. So all of this they're going to be putting up should I emphasize should put up a wrought iron fence going around so this will be the view from your backyard but it won't actually be your backyard because there's the sticks for the property line right there all right and there is these are 65 foot lots Perry has a $26,000 lot premium on this lot. So basically, <clears throat> where we see these uh, trees right here would be where the house goes. And I'd be standing in your backyard space right here. It is quite flat. They clear out all of this. I do wish there was more of an oak tree presence 
besides just some cedars. But that's why I'm out here doing these videos, so we can actually see what's on these properties. Now here is an oak tree on the very edge of the property. Just a little small one, so that one should still be there. Oh, it's an old cactus stepping on. They were old and dead. All right, we're coming back up on, there's the other property line. All right, let's head to the next lot which is going to be more closer to my truck and that's going to be lot 56 which is address is going to be 1183 catnip all right let's look down the middle of these property lines kind of see which side okay yeah that big oak tree looks like it's right on the property line so that oak tree should stay there uh, hopefully so. If not, it should be like right in between or around the back corner of a house. So either one of these lots, that oak tree should be a kind of the back corner of it. Depends on how deep the house is. Anyways, this is the lot 56. Let's go ahead and walk back here and see what we find. Using my truck as a indicator of where the edge of the lot is. I'm hoping we find a nice big oak tree at the back of this lot because there's the oak tree that's going to be on the edge of the property. This would probably be the footprint of the house right here because you can see my truck there marking the border. Big rock. Okay, it's a little rocky back here, but not too bad. Definitely flat though. So that's gonna be a good thing. So you're really not gonna have any big steps going on the front of the property or the back of the property. Might be a little bit because there's nothing completely flat, but I am not seeing any oak trees on this property here either. Let's dodge, trying to figure out, pick my route amongst these cactus. All right. Let's go to the back of this property line and see what we see. All right, yeah, here's the back of the property line. I see the yellow rib in there but just like the other one the back property is going to be all that green space we just saw i'll go ahead and walk back there to see just what the view is you're gonna have a view of this big beautiful oak tree in the back and this is gonna be like a little park uh or just big green space area i don't want to speak for the developer what they're going to do or they're going to keep it natural but they put up those, get rid of some of these uh, cedar and junipers. We can have a little open view of the back and this can be a really nice little space in the backyard making you feel not so crowded. But like I said, these are the 65 foot lots. The one we are on right now, Perry has put a $27,000 lot premium on it. But to be honest, I don't, see much of a difference between the two they're both going to be about the same size they're both going to be sharing that one nice oak tree if it's depending on where they build the house at so more of kind of what's just available right now i know both of these lots are available and they're going to back up to that really nice green space behind you all right, that's going to wrap up the lots 57, 58, side by side on each other off catnip. Let's head over to Sugarcane Road and let's do the last uh, lot that uh, the sales rep said, hey, might want to check out. So uh, let's head over there. All 
All right, behind me is lot 45, also known as 358 Sugarcane Road. This can be a 55 foot lot. Let's go check it out. All right, as you can obviously see, this lot has been cleared already. Kind of shows you before and after. The sound you're hearing, that is 46 back that away. I'm not a fan of having a house on that side of the road just because I wouldn't want the highway being right back there. But this would put your back porch facing away from the highway and facing away from the setting sun you see back there. Beautiful skyline in Texas today. But anyways, this is the lot. It does have a $25,000 bonus uh, um, uh, premium on it. That's a better word for it. But like I said, this one, the other lots were 65K. Well, it's not 65K, I'm getting tired. 65 feet across, this is 55 foot wide. And I learned something new today that Perry really wants you to put a house on it that's designed for a 65 foot lot. And obviously if you got a 55 foot lot, you can only put a house designed for 55 feet wide. And when I say those numbers, I mean the width of the lot. All right, let's see if we can get back here a little bit. There is some nice oak tree back there. If you cleared out some of this. Let's see. This also will be backing up to the green space. Let's see if I can find a way to navigate through. So I was like, oh, there's, that's why I come back here. So we can see there is a nice oak tree tucked away amongst all this uh, garbage trees. That, let's see if I can find the lot lines. Looks like there's a lot line right there. So this tree would be right in your backyard. Clearing out this mess here um, would make this backyard a lot more usable. Let's see if we can make our way. To the back space. Ooh, don't rip my shirt. Sorry about that. Got kind of hung up there. So don't worry. Everything I'm breaking should will be broken anyways. All right. Here is the back of those lot lines. See lot 45 here. So we're at the back corner of it. And they should have those wrought iron things going because this is gonna be the back of the property. Now, I would definitely have to ask the builder to ask the developer to find out if they're gonna be clearing out any of these because, well, this isn't much of a view out the back of the property. Not with all these uh, trees back here. And there's really no way past that. Let me try to get back around here, see if this clears out a little bit. And it doesn't really. You can see we're, let me walk back up. I uh, see somebody else's property line. That's gonna be on the other side of this little green space. Kind of show you what the back looks like. So all this stuff here will be green space give you definitely some sense of privacy because you can see there's somebody else's house with their wrought iron fence. So you're not gonna wanna clear out too much of this because you want that privacy, but man, that oak tree is gonna look real nice in the backyard of lot 45. And trying to see, okay, I see a flag there. So yeah, that oak tree will be just in front of, on the property side of where that wrought iron fence is. You can see the stick there. And yeah, the oak tree, this would be on the property of lot 45. So that can be a beautiful tree. Clear out some of this mess, but then you'll still have a nice little gap. I'm glad there's a little bit of opening instead of just seeing more of these. But yeah, not a bad lot as far as 55 foot lots go.
All right, let me make my way back around here. All right, I'm back at the front side of the property where the house would be. I'm straddling the property line right now so you can see that really big oak tree is gonna be kind of right on the dividing line of where your property is gonna be, which is kind of what you want because you can enjoy having that oak tree, but definitely providing the shade. But you've also got multiple oak trees. Let me walk over, I'm still on lot 45. I'm kind of going walking the length of this lot. And the reason I'm doing so is it looks like I found another oak tree kind of tucked back into this little grove here. I'm trying to make sure I'm still on the property though. Yeah, there's looks like there is an oak tree kind of tucked right back in there somewhere. It's hard to see from here. All right, this is the last clip of this lot. Here I'm at the border, so you can see where you can see the electrical box over there and this post showing you where the edge of this property line is and kind of seeing back over here where those other trees are. So there will be some little oaks trees right here also straddling the property line so that would still be in existence even if somebody bought these lots over here so once again there's still a 20 foot setback on these lots but this is not a bad lot especially with those with that tree line kind of in the back back there all right as you can tell i'm running out of daylight so let me wrap up this tour uh for my california buyers who are thinking about buying one of these lots, let me know as soon as you can which one or if any of these fit what you're looking for. And, uh, and we'll send that off to the sales reps. Hope you found this video helpful. And uh, once I make this one public on YouTube, if you're looking for a realtor that does these things, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and reach out to me and I'll be happy to set up a Zoom meeting with you. All right, take care now, bye.